This week, we are putting together our three-tier ganache Whitney Houston themed cake. If you caught my coloured ganache tutorial, you'll already be up to speed on how I did these three tiers. This cake is an 8 inch, a 6 inch and a 4 inch top. I'll leave the coloured ganache tutorial linked below so you can catch up and here I'm just stacking them up, placing dowels all the same height and just popping a little bit of ganache between the tiers and centering them before it dries. Now sometimes you can get a little ragged edge around the bottom where you remove it from its working board. So I'm just going to fill the gap with some melted ganache. You can obviously be a lot neater than I am by using a piping bag instead of a teaspoon. But you just want to place some in the gap and then smooth it out with a scraper. The wet ganache will fill the gap creating a cleaner look. As this is my son's cake and it's not travelling anywhere, I'm only using four dowels for the four inch top instead of my usual five. You just want to make sure that your dowels are all the same height so that it keeps your tiers level. The beauty of this being finished in ganache is that you can manhandle them a little bit to get them central, whereas buttercream can be a little bit trickier. And here are all the three tiers stacked with the gaps hidden ready to decorate. So with him being Whitney Houston obsessed, I knew that the cake would have to follow suit. I took a really popular section of the lyrics and traced them out onto a greaseproof paper that I knew would fit around the centre tier. I'm just popping my template in place with some acupuncture needles and you can either trace around your letters with a pencil or a Dresden tool to leave an impression or because we're eating it and I needed it done quicker I actually traced the pencil on the back of this template as well and I'm just rubbing my finger over the letters to transfer that pencil line onto the cake. As you peel it back, you can see the pencil lines have been left behind for you to follow. Now if you're not keen on using the pencil, again you can just use a Dresden tool to leave an impression. Personally, I've eaten worse. And then going in with some black metallic paint. Everything I use is always linked in the description box below. I'm just carefully trying to paint the letters on, and I've done the exact same for the bottom tier with the following lyrics, but left the word boy and dream separate to add on in lilac. This paint was made by using white dust mixed with water that will firstly make an opaque white paint and then I added purple gel to make it a lilac colour. We are painting on ganache here, there is no sugar paste on this one. I've then got a little cup of buttercream. You can again use ganache if you like, I just run out as usual and I'm going to be recreating some of the colours from the How Will I Know Whitney Houston video. You see she walks down this corridor full of pinks and yellows and blues and purples. So I'm just using this as an inspiration for the cake. You can colour your buttercream with anything you like, gels or airbrush colour. I've just got yellow airbrush colour here because it's nice and bright and I'm mixing each of the colour in different cups to keep them separate. The pink airbrush colour is also usually nice and bright. And then just haphazardly taking my palette knife and spreading splodges of buttercream down the whole right hand side of the cake. I didn't really know what I was aiming for here, I just wanted an explosion of colour down one side to complement the boldness and straightness of the lyrics. Now this is one of my paper palms going in. You'll see I uploaded this tutorial a few weeks back. I'll also link this one below if you want to take a look at them. They literally cost me a couple of pence each to make and they are super effective. I've then grabbed some disco balls from either eBay or Amazon and they come in all different sizes. I bought some of the larger ones and some smaller ones to complement them. I'm just sticking these into place with little blobs of buttercream underneath and rearranging my palms to make sure it looks good from the front. The beauty of these being paper is that you can squash them about a little bit. 
you can see I'm squashing the paper up against the bottom tier and they're not going to shatter or break, they will just simply bend back into the concertina shape. Now that I have my palms and glitter balls on, I'm going to add further detail using my leftover buttercream. This is all I have left, but I've managed to pop it into a little piping bag with a star tip and I'm just going to add little swirls of the different colour buttercreams all around. This pink one is a Wilton 1M tip, which is a bit bigger and will leave bigger swirls. And then I barely have any of this blue left and popped it in a very small star piping tip for cute little ones. Once that's done, you can start adding some of your sprinkles. I chose silver ones to match the disco balls, some silver triangles and some smaller silver coloured vermicelli strands. And that's it! I quickly had to throw this one together for his birthday that was the next day, but having the decorations all pre-made is what can speed up the process. Please do go back and check out the coloured ganache tutorial and the paper palm tutorials which will aid you in making this one. Hope you enjoyed it! Let me know if you're as big of a Whitney fan as Kai is in the comments below and I'll see you again next week.